Hey, what's up guys? My name is Zoe from Jeva. Today I'm going to be, uh, we're just going to be doing some more 5M scripting on, uh, natives and keep pressing and giving guns. Just simple stuff. I'm going to try to keep it simple here. So, I have the code here on GitHub. I'll put this link in the description for you guys to see. Uh, it's got all the code if you can't follow along. So, um, yeah, we're also going to need, uh, you don't really need any of these. Actually, you might. It's required. So this has the game controls that we're going to need. You might need this. This just has values for a gun. So let's just get right into it. I'll put all of these links in the description. So um, first we're going to open up our server that we made in previous episodes. And uh, we're going to go to our CFX server data master resources. And we're going to be creating a new resource. So to create a new resource like we've done last episode, right click a new, we're gonna do folder. And we're going to call it uh, guns. Because why not? So um, then what we're going to want to do is open up or we're going to create a new file and call it underscore underscore resource dot Lua. and uh, in there we're going to open up from VS which uh, we've installed last episode hopefully uh, I'm going to open this folder as a workspace so I can make um, files from there you can also just create it from there but I'm going to do it from there VS because I like VS. So we're gonna call the first one guns C dot Lua guns client, which is why we have that C in here. We're going to do uh, client oops, actually, and we're also gonna create um, functions dot Lua. Uh, so in the resource dot Lua, we're gonna call we're gonna type in client uh, underscore scripts not scripts, and this can be an array. Um, you can open that up and uh, in here you can type in uh, functions dot little and guns c dot little and uh, that should be fine so now what we're going to do is uh, I guess we can start writing now so in the functions dot little I'm going to open this to the side using this little button and uh, have these two open so in here we're going to define some functions because we just declared this in the same scope of this resource so what we're going to want to do is in the function we're going to declare a function called alert and this is going to be using a uh, parameter message and also um, this is a GTA 5 native so to, uh, to use this we're going to have to type in set text com component and we're, we're gonna put pass through this parameter message we're gonna do dis display help text from string label. yeah it's kind of a handful and uh, these values don't really know what they do but uh, it has to do with the native so yeah you can just type that in so uh, we just declared that function we're gonna type in some more functions here like notify we'll see what these does when what this does when we use them. We're gonna have this parameter message too if you want. Um, um, type in set notification notification text entry called string add text component string message because we're passing that through and draw notification true and then false hopefully I spelled this right and then end the function and uh, one more we're gonna do is the give weapon uh, function which you'll see function give weapon we're gonna have the hash of the weapon being passed through as a parameter and um, so what you're gonna do? This is this is where it gets a little complicated. Just follow along. It's kind of it's it's easy. So just type in. We're gonna use the local or the native give weapon. I cannot spell that. I can spell never. Uh, head, and then uh, this has a lot of parameters. So just follow along. So we're, the first one we're gonna do get player head minus one, which is. 
this basically means uh, you're giving the weapon to the player. So that's basically what that means. And then a uh, new one, get hash key. <coughs> and then you pass the hash parameter through this because um, essentially you're converting. You will see how we convert this. It automatically gets converted into uh, from a string to the hash. So and then a new parameter. This is the amount of ammo you want. So I'm just going to do 999 for as much as we can put. And this one's going to be false. This this new parameter is going to be false for unknown reasons. I don't know. And then uh, you can have this either true or false. But I'm going to have it false. Basically, the last parameter. Basically, what it does is um, it's like when you when when you first get the gun, it's going to equip it in your hands. But I don't want to do that. And then we're going to click. Oh, we already did that. All right, that's cool. So now we have those functions declared. Um, in a gun C .lua, we're going to start off with. Um, we're going to start off with creating a thread, which is basically how you can find key presses. So citizen dot create. This isn't natives. This is um, 5m stuff. And then we're going to pass through a function. And uh, in here, type in end. And then in here, we're going to um, make uh, two variables. Local h underscore key is equal to, um, well, we'll see actually, local x underscore key is equal to. So we have to find these. So basically, actually, I'm going to keep these blank until uh, until um, we write this. So while true, do, which is basically just a loop. And uh, there's a lot of controversy around these loops because... Um, People hate having these useless loops being ran uh, from r stupid resources. So um, yeah, uh, the, to do a citizen dot wait so it doesn't crash. You need this, or else it'll crash. Your, your resource will crash your game. And then uh, yeah, we're gonna have an end for this uh, loop right here. And in here, we're going to do if is control just released. Um, one, which is the input group, and then we're going to do the h underscore key. Then, <coughs> excuse me, give weapon, and then this this is the function that we declared here. So basically, what we're going to have to do is find the weapon that you want. So um, I know some, but I'm going to show you right here. This is the weapon list. Um, so let's say you want a uh, pistol, right here, pistol. So um, what you're going to want to do is uh, have this name right here, I'm going to copy that, and then uh, put it in quotes, type in weapon, underscore, and then pistol. I'm just going to put it in a little case because I want to. And uh, let's also give the uh, weapon knife. Weapon underscore knife. So uh, that's going to give these two guns when this h key is pressed but we have to find the h key so let's actually I'm gonna end this first um so the h key we have to find it in uh here so this what i'll put this link in the description like i said you have to find this on the right side h so let's look for h because that's that's the key that i want you can do any key you want just remember to set this variable as the key you want because this number is going to be put right here and uh, which is equal to this key so let's find H because that's what I wanted us H is 74 so you're gonna paste H in here you don't that you, you can literally just type in 74 right here if you want but I just want to use I want to show you how variables work X key let's look for X that's right here 73 and uh, paste that that should work we'll see that I'll show you um, the other command that we're gonna do actually before I do that I'm getting really ahead of myself I'm gonna do alert and um, let's see here, alert. And then uh, this is uh, to, to put the alert, which is basically help text. If you've never seen it, um, I'll, I'll put it on the top. You'll see it like right here. That's what help text is in GTA. So um, to make this blue, uh, type in blue, green, red, uh, there's, there's more. I'm gonna make it blue. You have to have the tildes and then close that off. Sorry, that's my Discord going off. Uh, and then type in, I'm going to type in given weapons. Weapons with 
and uh, to actually see the outline of the key which you'll see I'm gonna do another one of this till date and then uh, where is it 74 that we're using right here you can uh, copy that that part and paste that there and then close that off and it'll look like a, it'll have like a little button outline so that's gonna alert that I'm gonna do another um, actually we don't need, we don't need to do another one that's that's fine um, so that's it if if statement right there so now what we're gonna want to do is um, let's say you want to get rid of your gun um, so I'm up here I'm gonna make a command from last episode kind of registry command just a little review type in clear function because this is a function and then uh, end so then in here we're going to remove all head weapons which is another native and then get we're going to get the player the current player head just like right here player head minus one and then make that a true because we're removing all of this and then we could uh, use this notify um, function right here notify even though they're in the different files by the way they'll work because we just declared them in this uh, scope so we just type in notify and then we'll be like uh, I'll show you what uh, notify looks like you'll see it in game click on I'm gonna do make this red and say clear all weapons and let's say you want to like um, team catnate strings uh, we can do print I'll just show you how this works print and then in quotes function uh, in quotes you can say the key and then to, to combine them you put these two dots and then uh, H underscore key and then two dots again uh, oops. what oh, I was going the key uh, was pressed so that's that's basically what that'll do um, so yeah let's uh, this should work um, you'll see how these work uh, and uh, yeah let's let's run this run resource but before we do that we're going to go to our server.cfg not that actually oops I meant uh, our resources.cfg that we did for another episode and uh, add on start runs. so uh, I'm gonna run this script or I'm gonna go into the server um, and uh, I'll see you guys then alright Alright, so I was on a server and I uh, saw that I made a little typo here, so um, yeah, I figured that out. So I'd switch these two little characters on. So you can just type in from leblay to label. Sorry about that. Hopefully, you didn't actually follow it. Uh, and then if you're already on your thing, you can um, restart your resource by doing the restart guns. And you should restart it. And now when we click the H key, uh, I already have a pistol because I was testing it and, and the knife, but it should click H and it says given weapons with H Like I said with the little pop-up and it's blue and to clear there's slash clear And that should clear all the weapons. So uh, there you go. That works um, If you enjoyed this video definitely uh, like like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe for more We're gonna make uh, more tutorials in the future and uh, yeah, have a good one